Hey guys, what's up? Chris here for BeerGeekNation.com. Today we are looking at one of my favorite beers, well at least a variation of one of my favorite beers, from, from Alesmith Brewing out of San Diego, California. This is their Hawaiian Speedway Stout. It is their Speedway Stout Imperial Stout brewed with coconut, vanilla, and kawaii coffee. 12% alcohol by volume and the Kayu ka ka coffee, it's K-A apostrophe U. However you say that, um, it's supposedly a very rare Hawaiian coffee um, and part some hazelnut in there as well. And if I know anything about Hawaiian coffee, it's that it's expensive. So add the rare Hawaiian coffee onto that. It's probably a very expensive coffee, but nonetheless, looking forward to it. Again, one of my Imperial Stout, or Speedway Imperial Stout, one of my favorite beers of all time. Just a fantastic base beer, and Ale Smith, no matter what they do to it, seems to be okay, and really does take it to another level. Gotta give a big thanks to my buddy Ryan for hooking me up with this one. Check out his uh, YouTube beer tube thing at San Diego Beer Vlogs. Uh, you can check out the link below. Stumpy Joe Jr. is his channel. So with that said, let me get into a glass so you guys know how it smells taste. Give you the final verdict on the Alesmith Hawaiian Speedway Stout. All right, guys, the aroma. Wow, definitely sweeter than Speedway. I'm um, getting the vanilla, very, very subtle toasted coconut, a little bit of coffee, definitely a lot of chocolate. Typically, Speedway has a pretty roasty profile. I'm not getting that much in here. More of a dark chocolate kind of fruitiness. Really, really nice smelling beer, though. All right, guys, to the taste. Cheers. That's nice. Um, first thing to come to mind, it's very subtle. You've got the Speedway. The Speedway Stout is there. You know, it's, it's just Speedway. Big roastiness. More in the flavor than the aroma. Coffee, tons of coffee, um, that espresso type of bitterness, some, some green pepper in there. Definitely getting the vanilla in the form of sweetness, um, a little bit of like a natural vanilla bean type of flavor. The coconut is very, 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 very subtle. Toasted coconut, coconut sweetness more in the back than anything. Um, you know, 12%, I always, I don't know how they hide the alcohol in this beer, but they do. 12%, it's almost non-existent. A little bit of the sweetness, a little bit of heat, but I mean, you know, it, it's not 12% heat. Um, for me on this one, the coconut is lacking. With that said, this bottle is bottled in October 2nd. So at this point, it's like five months old, so it might have dropped off. I know vanilla drops off really quick. From what I understand, coconut drops off really quick. So that may have happened. It's there. It's very, very subtle, though. All right, guys, the final verdict on the Alesmith Hawaiian Speedway Stout, 12% alcohol, but... A All right, guys, so the final verdict on the Alesmith Hawaiian Speedway Stout, 12% alcohol by volume. It was a limit availability. I'm sure they're going to do it again, though. I actually saw it on draft locally. Uh, it sold out, like, instantly, though. Um, so they're obviously doing a little bit here and there, or it was just an old keg. Who knows? But with that said, before I grade this, I do want to say this, this beer is about five months old. Actually, it's going on, yeah, like five months old, um, basically to the day. Uh, so with that said, I feel bad kind of grading it. Speedway Stout itself is a world-class beer. It's an AA plus beer all day long. Does this beer take that beer to another level? I don't think it does. I actually think it knocks it down a little bit, so I'm going to give it like a B plus, A minus. Still a great beer. Don't get me wrong. I'm, not, I'm, just, I'm nitpicking at this point. I don't get enough of the coconut for me to be able to say, oh yeah, there it is. There's a little bit of vanilla sweetness. Again, coconut and vanilla tend to drop out pretty quickly with age, so I, I'm pretty sure that's what happened here. Um, the coffee they used, I actually prefer. I think it's the Ryan Brothers coffee that they used in the original one. I actually prefer that over what they're using in this. It, again, it's very subtle, a little bit too sweet. It's that hazelnut that I'm not too crazy about, getting a little bit of that hazelnut flavor, some green pepper. It's fine. It's just not as aggressive as I like Speedway Stout uh, to be. So with this said, you know, a little bit of a disappointment. It's a little bit sweeter and kind of I want to say like it has a generic sweetness. It's kind of hard to put your finger on. It's you know one of the three ingredients. You know, it's just hard to say. So with that said, Getting a B plus, A minus, still a fantastic beer. Don't get me wrong, but just not what I was hoping for. Remember, folks, life's too short. Drink amazing beers. Cheers.